Hi, my name is Kayla Carnosh, and this is my sensory-based exploration presentation. First, I will talk about some key points that I learned from my research. So I learned that sensory-based education utilizes children's natural curiosity and way of learning about the world by looking, smelling, touching, listening, and tasting. And one activity can have the ability to teach children through multiple senses. And it also makes learning more fun and meaningful for students of all ages. Um, this activity engages the physical domain because it helps them develop their senses. So each student will be able to see the food and the different colors, smell the food and distinguish between different fruits and vegetables, taste the food and develop an opinion, hear the sounds that they make when they're being prepared, and touch it to see how different fruits and vegetables feel. It also engages the cognitive domain of knowledge and comprehension because the students are learning new information about fruits and vegetables that they might not have known before, and they're able to remember it to use in the future. Uh, this engages the social domain because students are able to converse with their peers and ask them their opinions on different fruits and vegetables, and they can learn how to value someone's opinion and conversate with someone who has a different opinion from them. Um, it engages the emotional domain because students are able to express their feelings about the food, listen to their peers' feelings, and be aware of their own as well as their peers' feelings even if they're not being expressed. And this activity engages the literacy and language domain because students are answering questions about the food and referring to their fruit and vegetable activity cards, which have information about each food on their rainbow plate. As for the aesthetic domain, it engages this because it's a discovery activity, so the students are able to use their senses to discover and explore new fruits and vegetables and develop their own thoughts about them. So some quotes for each domain that I chose for my research are one for physical. I chose using all your senses to explore and experience different foods, including lots of colorful fruits and vegetables. So as I said before, this engages a physical domain because they're um, learning to use their senses and developing those better. Um, for the cognitive domain, um, the quote that I chose is a statistic, and it says, The mean intentions to eat fruit and vegetables pre- and post-intervention, as assessed based on student self-selection of offered produce items, were 185.96 and 261.13 grams, respectively. This was a 40% increase. So I chose this for the cognitive domain because um, after learning about fruits and vegetables and their nutritional value, students were more likely to choose them and eat them at lunch. As for the social domain, I chose the quote, using positive and descriptive language to express the way foods look, smell, feel, sound, and taste. And I chose this because um, students can use their language skills and discuss with their peers um, their findings based on their five senses. For the emotional domain, I chose learning about the ways in which food connects everything in the world around us, helping children become ambassadors for a healthy and sustainable future. So they can use their emotional skills to um, learn more about the fruits and vegetables and advocate for um, eating more fruits and vegetables and educate others on the nutritional value of fruits and vegetables. For the language domain, I chose each card supports the exploration of one type of fruit or vegetable with questions and prompts. The card it's referring to is the activity cards that have questions and information about the fruits and vegetables. So they can um, ask each other these questions or learn other information that they didn't learn from their five senses. As for the aesthetic domain, I said, support your rainbow food explorers in playful inquiry, discovery, and reflection. I chose this quote because the aesthetic domain encourages discovery and they're discovering new information about fruits and vegetables using their five senses. The materials I'll need for this activity are fruits and vegetables of different colors, preferably ones that are in the rainbow, um, activity cards, plates, and silverware. And then I have a few images of what that would look like. As for student materials, all they're going to need is their five senses to uh, discover and explore the different fruits and vegetables that I provided for them. Now, what the station will look like, it will have fruits and vegetables in groups based on their color. Each student will have a seat around the table with a plate, silverware, and their activity cards. The students can start with whatever color they choose, and they will go through each of their senses to develop their own opinion on the food and discuss it with their peers. And then on the other side of this, I said this is what the station will look like, except instead of having um, like materials like paper and crayons, they're going to have food and plates. In order to prepare for this, um, while the students are at recess, I'm going to set up the station in the classroom. So I'll put paper plates and silverware out in front of each chair, and then I'll get the fruits and vegetables and organize them by color for the students to choose. 
the students are back from recess, I'll split them into groups of six. One group will come back to the table with me while the others go to another station, and each station will last roughly 20 to 25 minutes. In order to get my students engaged in this activity, I'm going to ask them questions about the fruits and vegetables and encourage them to form their own opinions about them. Another aspect of this activity that gets them engaged is the use of their senses, so they're able to hear the sounds of each fruit, they can see what it looks like, smell the food, taste the food, they can feel the outside and see what it feels like compared to other fruits and vegetables. So by using their senses, they're enjoying a different way of learning than having a lesson just spoken to them. And directions that I'll give them, I don't plan on giving my students much direction other than the students have to pick a different colored fruit or vegetable. They have to use all five senses to explore the food. And then I will ask them questions to help them form opinions on their fruit and vegetables. And then the students will discuss these opinions with each other and have an open line of communication. During this activity, the students will be free to explore the fruit and vegetables however they choose as long as they're using one or more of the five senses. Uh, for, as for how long we're going to do the station, so as I said before, the students come back from recess. I'll split them into groups of six. So one group will come back to me and the others will be working at other stations learning literacy, math, or science. And these stations will last 20 to 25 minutes. Now, in order to wrap up this activity, the students will receive a halfway, five minute, and one minute warning before their center time is over. After each student has gone through each fruit and vegetable, we'll discuss their feelings about each one. After we've discussed them, we'll move on to the next center. Once each group has gone through each center, we'll call for a cleanup and pick up each center. To assess my students' learning, each group and I will have a discussion after we've explored each food. The discussion will include their opinions on certain foods, the food's nutritional value, what they learned about each fruit and vegetable, and what they feel is the most important thing they learned from this activity.